you listen to my class? Yes, good morning. Yeah, we just listened to your uh, Sunday feast class. Yes. You yeah, saw so, uh, how many devotees listened to it? Do you know? I think uh, ten to eleven was there on the YouTube. Um, I didn't know. I didn't check in Facebook, but uh, in YouTube, uh, because in Facebook it was all uh, uh, along with translation, so we couldn't hear you properly in Facebook. Uh, so, but YouTube, uh, we heard you properly, Guru Maharaj. Um, I saw 11, 11 participants were there. Um, 11 from uh, the, our group? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Guru Maharaj. Uh, we can't see the names there, uh, just uh, the number we can see there. Oh, okay. It just hurt to speak about it again. <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj, please. Okay. Hare Krishna, being devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. Today's topic is uh, uh, book distribution. Uh, Guru Maharaj is going to speak on that topic. Thank you so much. You can take over, Guru Maharaj. Omagyan to Midandusya, Ginajana Salakaya, Chaksun, Militam Yena Tasma, Sri Gadavena Mahatma, Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna, Prestaya Bhutale, Sri Makti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine, Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gaur Vani Pachari Ne Nirvaste Sasunya Vari Pasjatya Re Satare, Vanchikalpa Turu Vishakri Pasindu Be Vachapatita Nam Pavane Bhyo, Vaishnava Bhyo Ramahona Maha, Jai Si Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadadar Sri Vasari Gaur Bhaktivinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <coughs> so perhaps a few of you heard my class in Slovenia, which was on book distribution Christmas marathon. So for those of you who haven't, and even if those of you have, uh, I think it'll always be good to, you know, emphasize the point more and more. Um, Every year at this particular time, the entire Scan Society gears up for the Christmas Marathon. Um, it's an opportunity to please Srila Prabhupada by distributing his books. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada in 1936 met his spiritual master Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati at Radhakund. At that time, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati was um, a little bit uh, overwhelmed with a mood of contrition. He was uh, feeling some anxiety due to the difficulties that had occurred at the uh, Calcutta Temple. The devotees had just received a new building, a marble building paid by one, by one very wealthy uh, merchant, mer mercantile man, bird merchant, who was very favorable to, to Bhakti Siddhanta and donated this building. The devotees had been living very simply before then. Now they had this uh, nice marble building. But then what happened was the devotees started to get into a little contention about who would have which room and where they would stay. So this became a problem. And Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati was didn't know actually how to deal with it. But so he happened to come to Radhakund and, and Srila Prabhupada, knowing that his Guru Maharaj was also there, he also went. So you'll see the picture actually is the drawing of Prabhupada holding the hand of his little son, Vrindavan and walking along Radhakund with Bhakti Siddhanta. And Bhakti Siddhanta says, if you ever get money print books, he said, the Murdanga drum, when you play it, it can be heard from a certain distance. But the Brihat Madanga, or the printing press, that can go anywhere. So he said, uh, uh, print books, print books, distribute books. These are our way to reach the conditioned souls in a very direct and very uh, effective way of reaching people so they will be inspired to take up Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. So, so far, our society 
over the years since it began has distributed close to 600 million literatures, well, buds books. Now that's only what has been recorded. And we can rightly say that there is also a very significant large number of unrecorded books that were distributed also. So as a society, we want to, we're one of the most proficient in distributing transcendental knowledge. And the Christmas marathon is always an opportunity to really um, uh, push book distribution in such a powerful way. What is the benefit of book distribution? Well, this knowledge is coming from the spiritual world. It's not man-made knowledge. Srila Prabhupada has presented it on paper, but as Prabhupada said many times, these are the words of Krishna. I am simply writing what he is speaking. And I, these are not my books, but the words of Krishna. And so this knowledge cannot be matched or found anywhere. And what is that knowledge? It's the basis of happiness. And what is that happiness? When one knows that they are not this material body, they are a pure spiritual part and parcel of Krishna. They have uh, eternal loving relationship with the Supreme Lord in devotion. And the thing, everything in this material world uh, has, uh, is superfluous to the living entity's existence as a spiritual being. And to reawaken one's spiritual consciousness is the highest perfection of life and the real goal of life. Anyone who does that, their life has become successful. Anyone who helps others to do it, their life also becomes successful. So as devotees, we have been given such great fortune in the form of Srila Prabhupada's mercy, in the form of his books, his lectures, and his personal presence. Now, that knowledge is what keeps us going in, in spiritual life. Without knowledge, we have no direction. Without knowledge, we have no understanding. And this knowledge leads one to the path of perfection. What is that path of perfection? Service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna and Sri Vrindavan Dham. And so uh, we have this great treasure house of transcendental knowledge, which we know as Srila Prabhupada's books. And Prabhupada very much encouraged, he encouraged a lot of principles in devotional service. And one of the things he really encouraged in terms of the activities of devotional service is he said, distribute my books. This culture of Krishna consciousness centers around transcendental knowledge. And this knowledge is coming from the spiritual world. And this knowledge awakens transcendental knowledge in the heart. It awakens happiness. And it gives one an understanding of one's relationship with the Lord, with each other, and with the material energy. And it gives direction in life where we can fulfill all of our desires and ultimately reach uh, uh, unlimited happiness. So the world today is undergoing some a lot of distress. It's a very difficult time. In the history of my life, I have never seen such a, a horrible political situation occur in the world. Um, maybe the devotees are not so much affected by it because we take shelter of Krishna. But the world in general is quite chaotic right now. And people are on the verge of madness in many places. And there's a lot of violence. There's a lot of um, suppression. And the fear principle is very, very strong. Therefore, more than ever, and I use that with emphasis, more than ever, this knowledge is needed in the human society because people are lost generally lost and it's a very opportune time because people are looking for something to grab onto and we have what they need and we have actually what they want also 
So um, we'd like to encourage each and every devotee in our Krishna conscious movement, no matter what situation you might be in, to think of different ways or to connect with ways to get involved with distributing Srila Prabhupada's books, especially his Bhagavad Gita and, of course, other books, too. So the, uh, the feature of book distribution is that it awakens transcendental knowledge in the hearts of anyone who comes in contact with it. And it, at the same time, it inspires the devotee in their Krishna consciousness. So it's a wonderful time to make spiritual advancement. It's a very great opportunity to please Srila Prabhupada as he emphasized more than ever, book distribution is the heart and soul of the activities of Krishna consciousness. He said out of Harinam Sankirtan and book distribution, both are very important, but he said out of the two, book distribution is even more important. Because as he put it, if anybody just reads one line or even one, one word of this knowledge coming from these books, their life is changed. They're on their way. They're on the path of bhakti. And in, in a due course of time, they will reach perfection. So um, there's no greater way to do benefit to others than to distribute this transcendental knowledge. As transcendental knowledge, is the path of freedom because it releases one from the illusion of the material entanglement. As when you have, when you're fixed in transcendental knowledge, you're transcendental to the material energies, the three modes of material energy, and you're not influenced by that. And so what we have is a great treasure. What we have is the principle of ultimate and unlimited freedom. What we have is the knowledge that connects one with their eternal loving relationship with the Supreme Lord. So we want to distribute that to others because this idea of helping others is the basis of our movement. Our movement is not about just finding comfort within our own spiritual practice. It's about reaching others with this knowledge in one form or another, whatever way we can. So take advantage of this particular time period. It's a glorious time and you're not alone. There'll be tens and thousands of devotees around the world distributing books. And one might think, well, you know, I'm not so good at talking to people. Uh, I don't know how I would stay out in the cold weather. I'm too old for that or whatever. There might be some reasons. You can also distribute a book through the computer, online, through, uh, through sending books to people. Uh, there's different methods by which the books can go out, which are all been used by devotees in different situations, especially last year during the lockdown. Devotees found ways to distribute more books than ever during the lockdown through the media. So there are also programs that will be developed and devotees can look for these programs online and see if they can connect with them or do something on in your local area to distribute Srila Prabhupada's books. Uh, there is no greater happiness than giving a book to another person. Mm, that happiness really reaches the heart and makes one feel so inspired in devotional service. So we have something wonderful and we want to share that with others because that's the basis. The whole principle of bhakti is to share what you have been given in such a way that whatever you share never is lost but is always expanding. In material life, when you have something and you give it away, it becomes less. But in spiritual life, when you have something, when you give it to others, it becomes greater. It's, uh, that is the nature of spirit, spiritual. It's never limited, it never diminishes, and it's always expanding. So uh, I want to encourage each and every devotee to think of ways to distribute books. You don't 
It doesn't matter who you are or what situation you're in, you can always find ways to distribute books. Krishna will also help you. And uh, if you have that desire and you want to help people by giving out this knowledge, then Krishna will give you uh, ideas on how best to do it. So we want to become uh, very much favored by Krishna by doing book distribution and at the same time uh, make Prabhupada smile because Prabhupada says every time my books go out, uh, I become, I feel like I've conquered the entire world. <laughs> and so conquering means uh, uh, destroying the nations of material uh, happiness that comes by way of the senses and the sense objects, which no one can find happiness. So we have something and we want to give it. So take advantage of this uh, opportunity. And, uh, and especially now, as we mentioned, it's more efficacious than ever to get out there and distribute books or to find some way to become a messenger of Krishna's message through these wonderful and transcendental books. <laughs> Prabhupada had put his whole life and soul in translating Srimad Bhagavatam. When we were all asleep and Prabhupada was up with the commentaries from the other acharyas sitting late in the night, just reading and studying the commentaries and reading the verses and thinking how he can expand this knowledge for the rest in mentality. And Prabhupada's books are been heralded by some of the greatest philosophers and uh, academicians in, in the history of the world. So uh, we have something that is wonderful and becomes more wonderful when you share it with others. Um, and you'll see there is a certain magic in book distribution that you find and what that is, it's unbelievable how many books you can distribute if you simply put your mind to it. Krishna shows you in so many ways and he actually makes it happen. He sends you the people who are ready to hear. And, that they, and then when you're eager, when you're eager, that eagerness attracts other people who, are, who need to hear, who are ready to hear. So this is the uh, mercy that comes by way of these trans and this transcendental knowledge. Um, and in the, in the history of our movement, there is replete with so many accounts of how devotees have uh, overcome amazing obstacles to distribute books. Mm -hmm. Just like in the former Soviet Union, um, book distribution during Prabhupada's time was not allowed and communism had shut off any religious connections. But still the devotees were getting the Bhagavad Gita and reprinting it and copying it and then distributing it. It was truly a, a sacrifice on the part of the early day, in the early days in Russia, and even the former Soviet countries, that they went to great lengths to, to print these books, to distribute these books, and to study and read it. Now you can see, actually, if you look at it, you'll see that out of all the, the yatras around the world, Vaishnav yatras, outside of India, the Russian yatra is the most powerful and most voluminous because they've always had a tendency for book distribution, always had a tendency to give Krishna consciousness to others. Okay, so I'll stop there and see if there's any comments or questions. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Um, thank you very much for this very important topic. 
um, as uh, this month is going to be uh, coming month, December is going to be book distribution marathon month. Um, it's very important uh, for us to listen this, um, uh, to get encouraged and inspired uh, in going out and distributing books. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Um, here you go, please, um, if you have any questions or comments or realizations, you can please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, devotees, any more, any questions? Um, we welcome comments or stories also. If you'd like to tell a story about book distribution that you're aware of or you were involved with. Yeah, I was listening to your lecture um, in the previous class, Guru Maharaj, in the temple. Um, you was mentioning about um, the happiness you get uh, um, when you distribute a book uh, or when you give a book to a new person. Yeah, that exactly I also felt uh, a lot of times, Guru Maharaj. Uh, once uh, when a maintenance person has come to my our house to do some work, mm, I gave him, I was a little hesitant how he'll take uh, Bhagavad Gita, whether he'll take or not. Uh, at that time, I, we both, uh, myself and my Prabhu both, uh, we gave a small uh, pocket size Bhagavad Gita to him and he was so happy and uh, surprised to uh, get that book and uh, uh, he's very happy uh, um, and uh, that also made us very happy <laughs> that we gave um, Bhagavad Gita to him. Yeah, a lot of times when people get the book, this is, they say, this is what I'm exactly looking for. Yeah, yes, good one. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Yeah, Guru Maharaj, like, you know, uh, the, the happiness of uh, the book distribution, really, you know, we experience every week, like, you know, we have a, um, we have book distribution, uh, we do every weekend, like, you know, Saturdays, I go to this Indian store and we put the table out there and, you know, try to distribute books. And we see a lot of people who are coming in and they may not be even stop to listen, but there will be some people suddenly coming out, nowhere out of the bloom and asking questions about what exactly these books are. And you don't expect that they will take the books, but they take multiple books, like, you know, not just the Bhagavad Gita, even the Krishna book. And uh, you'll, I mean, I, I really surprised, like, you know, I mean, I was waiting there for half an hour and I tried to stop so many people. They didn't even stop, but this person came somewhere from somewhere out of the room and just, you know, got the mercy of taking the books. So this encourages us, like, really to go back to every week and, you know, Try to distribute as many as possible works uh, and uh, it really encourages Guru Mara. So this is a very nice experience, you know, not just uh, one week, but every week something or other comes up and some person will stop and, you know, you don't expect, but they will stop and come and ask questions and uh, take the books uh, without any, any, any more questions. So that is really a wonderful experience, Guru Mara. Just wanted to share about that. Nice. That's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, well, just by going out there and making an effort, Krishna performs some magic. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah. And as Prabhupada said, if they simply get a book, you know, their life is, uh, they're on their way to Krishna. It may take a little time, but they have made their entry into bhakti. <laughs> Like, uh, I mean, to specifically one instant, like, you know, one, like, uh, one a Muslim man came, Guru Mara, suddenly I was alone. I just sat at the table. My other Prabhuji did not came up, but I was alone there. And this Muslim man, you know, was along, walking along with his, uh, I think this lady, but the lady went ahead, but this guy stopped and he said, what are these books about? Is this about Hinduism and all? So I was a little reluctant. I don't want to just say it is Hinduism. I said, these are not religious books. They are like the spiritual books. 
that's what my mention was and what is this he said i said this is the bhagavad gita this is the uh, spiritual book and in you can, you can take it so he said okay even though it's not hinduism i'm looking for something so if you said spiritual is is a book for me i said yeah i think that's what you're looking for and he said okay i want to take it and immediately he took the book and he just walked away and i was like mm. so he was searching something and he came and stopped and he asked this question yeah, and i yeah. said okay and, and then he took the book and, and went away so i was really surprised like you know uh, what a mercy he had on that day you know and i was i was lucky to you know be there and you know give that book to him yeah they're looking yeah. people are looking and krishna knows where to send them yeah. if we're if we're out there then krishna has somebody to send them to yeah. nice thank you very much thank you yeah, nice story that's really nice thank Continue. you very much yeah thank you very much Vedant Gopal, how many books have you distributed? Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept my obeisances. All glories to Prabhupada. All glories to you. Um, I was, I don't know how many books, but when I was doing little library distribution, um, like a year ago before I wrecked my car, I did, I don't know, like 800, 800 books in a few months. And uh, it was really enlivening driving around and putting books in little libraries. And then when I first joined, devotees were preaching to me about Krishna consciousness, but it wasn't in the most pure way. So um, when I started reading Prabhupada's book, Bhagavad Gita, uh, that's when it all made sense. It was Prabhupada, you know, who really went into my heart and made me realize everything that the devotees have been saying that whole time. Mm, good. Nice. Yeah. Well, here's the chance. Do it again. <laughs> I'm very inspired. Right now, now I even the climate is good. Yeah, it's interesting. Today, I actually put two small books in my bag uh, when I'm going out for errands, and I just thought that was amazing. You were talking about distributing books, and then I did that today. So I'm going to really try. Good, good. In all the best moments in my life. Krishna consciousness were when I was distributing books and of course being with you. But um, yeah, when you give somebody a book and they really seem interested, uh, it's just, it's the best feeling, like you said. Yeah, you can't get any, it's, it, it's such a satisfying feeling that you think, I just want to keep distributing books. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm. So many times I was out there just, didn't want to stop, you know, just, you just keep going and going and going. And it's like this bliss that's, yeah, you can't explain. Yeah. That's, that's the bliss of Krishna's being satisfied. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Time is real and more right than ever right now. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Thank you, Gumaj. Nitai Nataraj. Prabhuji, you are on mute. Prabhuji, Nitai Nataraj, Prabhuji. Turn on your, turn on your uh, camera uh, volume. You are not. Prabhuji, you are on mute. You have to unmute yourself. We, uh, uh, can you hear me? Now? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the book distribution, I mean, uh, giving out the books, I mean, the feeling, and it just, it's amazing, you know. So maybe uh, this year, uh, with the, like Uber, uh, doing uh, Ubering, so maybe I did almost like, uh, almost like 1,500 small books, you know. Same thing, uh, like yesterday, I did like a five or six, you know. I mean, uh, it just, uh, Touching, you know, we like we giving like a Krishna uh, the books like Krishna and uh, the right there, you know. So somehow we just touching her and it's feeling good feeling, you know. Than anything else, you know. So before I was like enjoying more like 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 uh, maybe dancing or this or that, but then now like uh, the the books, you know, giving out the Krishna consciousness. I mean, it's a little, it's something so sweet, you know, something special, you know. 
Yeah, Krishna is pleased. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pleasing Krishna in a very big way, you'll feel pleased yourself. Yeah. This is, this is the best way to please Krishna. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's, yeah, just, you know, yeah, giving it. <laughs> and people are hungry. They need some, they need this knowledge. Yeah. Good. Thank, thank you. you very much. You continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brother. Okay. Uh, Krishna Premi Mataji, you raised your hand. Uh, Hare Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Um, as far as I understand, to distribute books, we need to read um, Srila Prabhupada's books ourselves. So, and uh, <laughs> now I'm thinking how to do it regularly when um, um, I have the small child. Uh, because now uh, it's more about hearing than reading. So uh, could you please comment something, Guru Maharaj? <laughs> because, um, I mean, previously I was reading more um, often and more regularly. And then, you know, you have this um, inspiration to share this knowledge, which is in the books. But when you don't read, then, you know, it's uh, how to say, I feel that I need help myself. <laughs> what can I give to others? Well, you can give whatever you have. And from there, you'll get more. Just give what you have and you'll automatically Krishna will give you more. And then take time whenever you have a chance to read the books, but don't wait. <laughs> We all are somewhat connected with Krishna consciousness through the philosophy. The philosophy is there in Prabhupada's lectures and in his books mostly. And people, even if they don't understand it, when they read it, they get purified. And gradually, if they continue reading, the purification will bring them to an understanding of the knowledge. So it's a great service and it's most needed. That's the point. So Krishna will help you if you simply make an effort and think how best you can distribute books. As we mentioned, you can do it online, through the mail, or just one-on-one -on -one with your friends and others. There's uh, There are many, many uh, ways to distribute books. Think of ways. Krishna will help you. Or you can join a, join a book distribution party and take some time like that. When it's not too cold, you can take your new baby and you can go out and hold the baby in one hand and a book in the other hand, and they'll immediately buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, they'll see, the, they'll see the baby and they'll think, wow, such a nice baby. I think I should buy this book. <laughs> yeah. Mothers have new, new, newly, newly are originated mothers have a lot of transcendental shakti. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, it works. Uh, dear devotees, any more questions or comments? Gurudev, Hare Krishna. Please accept my answers. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, um, <clears throat> two years back, and even before that, last year we didn't have Rathayatra um, Christmas parade in Hillsboro. Uh, we we have it. We used to have it in Dur Durham also, 
so <clears throat> my experience was when we uh, people were very excited when we gave them these gift bags um but when we walked back to come back to our cars we saw some uh, gift bags which had little books and some you know mahamantra cards and things like that they were uh, uh, thrown away they were um, and so when we walked back we kind of picked them up and brought them back to the temple so what what should we do this was painful to see that you know they they take the gift bags but sometimes some of them they they throw it away or what should we do then that's not really a good way to distribute books just giving them as a gift bag it's better to introduce the books through your personal you know dialogue with them then you'll get you know people will just see no use in a lot of people what connects them to the book is the person <laughs> hmm. you're just giving them a a what do you say a blind gift like the only time we ever do that is like in our temples when we have new people come for the first time we give them a gift for their first time visit to the temple we give them a book but generally we Prabhupada didn't really like the idea of giving the books away. He said people will not appreciate this. When they pay something, then the appreciation will, will be there and they'll be more likely to read it also. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I felt that too, Guru Maharaj. Yes. So maybe this time yeah. when we have a meeting or something, we... I think we, we should talk about that, that the gift bags should not be given like that. Yeah, no, not like that. It's because, you know, when you talk and you get, a little, you get a little bit of a personal interaction, it's more likely they'll be inclined to uh, say yes and take the book. But if you just kind of like throw it on them and say, here's your gift, it's, mm. you know, you might get some results like that, but it's better not to waste the books or the energy in that way. Mm. <clears throat> yes. Thank you, Guru. Yeah, Prabhupada was always encouraging us to get something for the book, and that way they'll have greater appreciation and read it. Mm -hmm. And what about the cards, the temple um, address cards that also has Mahamantra on it? Well, that, that you, you're inviting them to the temple. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just, we, when you hand them the card, you say, here's an invitation to our temple. We have a a wonderful vegetarian feast every Sunday. We invite you to come. It's free. So here's our address. And here on the card, there's this chant. It's one of our main chants. If you if you chant this, you'll be happy. You'll be peaceful. Thank you. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Very well. Very well. Any more questions and comments? Guru Maharaj? <clears throat> um, Guru Maharaj, I don't see any questions or comments. Okay. So devotees, make your plans and think of how you can become part of this great uh, program of uh, uh, inspiring and benefiting the condition of souls by giving them transcendental knowledge. Whatever you do is, you may, someone may do a lot and someone may do a lot less. It doesn't matter. Do something in this, in this regard and be part of this great effort because there's no greater way to serve and give transcendental knowledge. Thank <laughs> you.
I'll end with a book distribution story. This happened in Italy. Those of you who are familiar with Italy, a lot of people travel by trains. And trains are in and out of stations all the time. And a lot of times when they stop going from place to place, there's a break of about five minutes for the passengers to get off and the new passengers to get on. So during that time, sometimes book distributors would wait by the trains and go on for that five minute period and try to distribute books. So one girl, she jumped on the train and there was one man, he was there. So she approached him and he was not so interested. In fact, he was a little bit arrogant and a little bit rough. So he took the book and, uh, and he pushed her away and she fell and uh, he took the book. And, and so uh, he didn't give the book back nor did he give any money and he pushed the girl away. So um, what could she do? And so after some time, many years later, this same man, he kept the book, he put it in his library and forgot about it. And he uh, came down with terminal cancer. And now he's struggling with this idea that he's not, he has only a few more months to live. So he's, um, he goes to look for some solace in his library and he looks for some, he was looking for the Bible, but he couldn't find it. And he found the book that this girl gave him. So he picked it up and he just happened to start reading it and it caught his attention. He kept reading it and reading it and reading it. And he was so inspired by it that he wanted to learn more. So he found the address in the temple and, uh, he uh, went to the temple trying to find out more. And when he opened the door, <laughs> when he came to the door, the person who opened the door was the same girl he pushed out <laughs> on, on the train. And she saw him and he saw her and he immediately fell down flat on the floor and offered his obeisances to her, apologized for everything and told her, told her the whole story. And so, uh, yeah, and then uh, he actually became very serious in Krishna consciousness. So you never know, this is one particular story, you never know how these books will wind up and how they will eventually benefit because Prabhupada said, my books are time bombs, which means just give it time and they'll have an effect on someone's life at some particular time. So, uh, distribute books. <laughs>
like they grab, you know, uh, chapatis. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you very uh, much.